distributors, teachers, educators, restorers, motivators, challengers, make us better Christians and better workers of Christ. Amen. Touch every life we bless this ministry, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For the ones that don't know me, I'm Periscope. My name is Jerry Lasten. My name is Jerry Lasten. And by the grace of God, I was saved. And by the grace of one year ago, a year ago, last week I was ordained as an evangelist. Was ik ingezet als evangelist of the Church of Holy Ministry. And the Church of Holy Life Ministry. And today I will be preaching for the first time. Dus vandaag ik het woord geef voor de eerste keer. I want to go with you all. Ik wil met u allen gaan. To Luke 7. Lucas zo zo zeven from 36 to 38 dus van 36 tot 38 Luke 7 Lucas zo zo zeven 36 to 38 dus vers 36 tot 38 Does everybody have it? Heeft iedereen het? Dus Lucas zo zo zeven vers 36 tot 38 So we will read now we will read what these verses have to tell us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So these verses have to tell in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can someone read for me, please? Can anyone for me read? Luke 7, from verse 36. Luke 7, 37, right? 36. 36. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. 37. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment. 38, and stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and it wiped them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Amen. 36. Vers 36. En een van de fariseeën nodde hem uit voor de maaltijd. En toen hij het huis van de fariseeën was binnengegaan, ging hij aan tafel aanleggen. Een vrouw die in de stad bekend stond als zondares, had gehoord dat hij bij de fariseer thuis zou eten. En ze ging naar het huis met albaste flesjes, met de geur van olie. 38. Ze ging achter Jezus staan, aan het voeteneinde van het aanlegbed. Ze haalde en zijn voeten werden naad door haar tranen. Ze droogde ze met haar, met haar haar, kuste ze en vreef ze in met olie. Each one of the four Gospels was written with the purpose that the people could learn to know Jesus better. Although all four agendas wrote to different audiences, they all wrote what they have seen, here, that's it. That's it. Of all the life of Jesus. Of the name of Jesus. The gospel were written by Matthew. The evangelization was written by Matthew, Mark, the Marcus, John, the Johannes, and last but not least, Luke. And Lucas. Matthew presented Jesus as the king. So Matthew presented Jesus as the king. Mark presented Jesus as the servant of God. And Mark was presented Jesus as the Son of God. John presented Jesus as the Son of God. And Johannes presented Jesus as the Son of God. And Luke presented Jesus as the friend of the sinners. And Lucas presented Jesus as the friend of sinners. So the topic for today will be. So the topic for today will be. Jesus, the friend of the sinners. So Jesus, the friend of sinners. Jesus is the friend of everybody that has been rejected. Dus Jezus is de vriend van iedereen die werd afgewezen. Jesus is the friend of the ones 
who the society has turned their back on them. Dus dat de mensen maar die maatschappij heeft het afgekeerd. Jesus is the friend of those who has fallen. Dus Jezus is de vriend van degenen die zijn gevallen. Stumble. Dus dan maar die zijn gestruikeld. And committed mistakes. Dus die fouten hebben gepleegd. Jesus, the friend of the sinners. Dus Jezus is de vriend van zondaar. Luke told us in the gospel. Dus Luke heeft ons verteld in de evangelie. That Jesus never came to look for the ones. Dus Jezus kwam niet zoeken. Who were already saved. Dus degenen die al gered waren. But for the ones who were lost. Maar degenen die zelf verloren waren. Question now. Dus ik vraag nu. You don't have to answer, but just think about this question. Je moet het antwoorden gewoon denken op die vraag. If Jesus is right now back on this earth. Als Jezus terugkeert naar deze aarde. And you want to meet him. En je wilt hem ontmoeten. So he is back in flesh, right? Hij is dan terug in het vlees. And you people want to meet him. En je mensen willen hem ontmoeten. Where are you going to look for him? Waar gaat u Jezus zoeken? If he is back here. Dus hij is terug. Where are you going to look for him? Waar gaat u Jezus zoeken dan? I won't go to look for him in the big cathedrals. Dus ik hoef niet gaan zoeken in een groot groot plaats. Or big church. Of een groot kerk. Or big buildings. Of een groot gebouw. No. Nee. I will go to look for him. Ik ga hem zoeken. In the children hospital. Zullen we in het ziekenhuis van kinderen? Where the children are suffering. Waar kinderen lijden. From cancer and HIV. Dus van kanker en AIDS. I will look for him in the children's homes. Dus bij kinderen thuis. Where children are asking, when will my mother come back to pick me up? Dus dat de kinderen vragen wanneer komt mijn moeder terug om mij te pakken. I will go to look for him. Ik ga hem zoeken in some countries. In sommige landen. For instance, Africa. Bijvoorbeeld Afrika. Where children are dying each day by hundreds. Dus waar kinderen maar sterven door honger. Because of starvation. Dus vanwege de honger. Even milk of fresh water. Dus er nog niet fris water. Nog niet fris water. I will go to look for him. Ik ga hem zoeken. On the dark end of the streets, so at the end of the street, where young boy and young girls, where young men, young men, are laying down, with their legs, still with the needle in their arm, so they bleed down with the pain, without knowing how to stop with the application, so so they need that they was in the way to stop with the drugs addiction, so with the drugs addiction, so with the drugs addiction, I will go to look for him in the homes. Ik ga hem zoeken thuis. Of people with broken hearts. Mensen die met gebroken hart zijn. Where people are crying. Waar mensen huilen. They are desperate. Dus ze zijn er van nood. I will go to look for him where people are in need. Dus waar mensen in nood zijn. Because where people are in need. Dus waar mensen in nood zijn. Where people are suffering. Waar mensen lijden. Where people are abused. Waar mensen maar zijn waar zijn. Children are crying. Kinderen die huilen. Traumatized because airplane. Om de vanwege het vliegtuig. Just drop another bomb on their village. Dus je van een bom zeer dag stuurt. There you will find Jesus our Lord for sure. En daar gaat u onze Heer Jezus zeker vinden. And near Him. En nee, daar. God Almighty. Dus al God Almachtig. The church, do you know? Dus kijk, weet u? Why I'm sure where to find Jesus? Waarom ik van 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 over tijd ben waar je Jezus kan vinden? Do you know why I know for sure? Weet je waarom ik? I will find him over there. Dat ik over tijd ben dat ik hem ga vinden. Because Jesus said. Want Jezus zei. People who are healthy. Dus mensen die gezond zijn. Doesn't need the doctor. Die hebben de dokter niet nodig. But the ones who are sick. Maar degenen die ziek zijn. That's why I know that if I go to the places that I just mentioned. Dan dan weet ik zeker als ik naar die plek ga. I will find them over there. Dan ga ik hem daar vinden. Knowing that Jesus is always in those places. Jezus altijd op die plek. I want to know how many of us are going also to that those places. Ook naar die plekken gaan. How many of us are visiting those places? Ook van ons ook bezoeken die plekken. Because Jesus is there. Want Jezus is daar. Waar er niet. Waar nood is. So we as Christians. Wij als Christenen. We have to go also to that those places. We moeten ook naar die plekken gaan. How many of us are doing volunteer work? Dus we doen dat werk. Van vrijwillig. 
Jesus, the friend of the sinners. Dus Jezus, de vriend van zondaars. Our Lord Jesus, ons Heer Jezus, received a lot of criticism. Dus heel veel kritiek heeft gekregen. Because he was the friend, hij vriend was, of the sinners. Van zondaars. People were saying, mensen zeiden, this man, deze man, he can be never the son of God. Hij kan nooit de zoon van God zijn. We are somebody, hij is iemand, that enjoy good life. We zijn geniet van goed leven. With eating and drinking. En met eten en drinken. But Jesus, maar Jezus, was on a mission. Maar was in een missie. His mission was, en zijn missie was. To carry all our sins to the cross. Om onze zonden te dragen naar het kruis. So we have stayed focused. Dus hij bleef gefocust. Whatever people was uh, telling about. Wat mensen ook over hem zeiden. He was focused. Jezus was gefocust. His mission. Dus dat was een missie. That's why we. Daarom wij. Don't have to let nobody take us away from our mission. Dus niemand moet ons weghalen van onze missie. The mission that we have received from Jesus. Dus de missie die we ontvangen van Jezus. At the end of the day, aan het eind van de dag, we will have to give responsibility to Him. We moeten ons, we moeten ons verantwoorden. About the mission that He gave us. Over de missie die ons gegeven. Hmm. I'm on a mission. Ik ben, ik ben, ik ben in missie. I don't have time, sister, for to gossip about my sister dus zussen, ik heb geen tijd or my brother. Om te over mijn broer of zus. I don't have time for nonsense talking. Ik heb geen tijd voor onzin te praten. I don't have time to watch all those stupid programs, om, movies on TV. Om, om al die slechte programma's te kijken op tv. Because I am on a mission. Dus ik ben in missie. Amen. Is, de volgende vraag is: Do we all know what mission that we receive from Jesus? Weet wij allemaal met z'n allen welke missie we hebben ontvangen van Jezus? Do we all know what's the mission that we received from Ke- Jesus? Dus weet wij welke missie we hebben ontvangen van Jezus? Our mission is to win souls for Him. Onze missie is om zielen te winnen voor Hem. Pray for people who are sick. Om te bidden voor de mensen die ziek zijn. Everywhere to break all chains. Om alle kennis te breken. Try to bring families together. Om families samen te brengen. Pray for children. Dus kinderen. Those are some of the missions that we got from Jesus. Dat zijn enkele missies die we ontvangen van Jezus. Let's go back now. To the topic of today. Laten we terug naar het onderwerp van vandaag. Luke 7, 36 and 38. Dus Lucas 7, 36 tot 38. In verse 37. In verse 36. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner. Dus een, dus een vrouw in de stad die een zondag was. So the Bible is telling us here. Dus de Bijbel vertelt ons hier. That there was a woman, woman in the city. Er was een vrouw in de stad. She was a sinner. Ze was, ze was een zondares. The first question should be. Dus de eerste vraag ze moest zijn. Why is the Bible telling us that she is a sinner? Waarom zegt de Bijbel ons dat ze een zondares was? Who's not? Wie is niet? Who's not? Een zondares. Vrouwen. She was a sinner. Ze was een zondares. Probably. A prostitute. Dus het was plus twee. The Bible is only telling us what she was. Dus de Bijbel vertelt dus ons dat zij een zondaar was. The Bible is was. not telling us for sure that she was a prostitute. Dat vertelt dat zij plus twee was. First I want to know. Eerst wil ik weten. Of to tell you. Of ik wil vertellen. What kind of people do I see right now in the church? Dus wat voor soort mensen zien wij, zien wij nu in de kerk? If I look around, dus als ik hier rondom kijk, I see a lot of people. Ik zie heel veel mensen. Do I see Christians? Zie ik christenen? No. Nee. Do I see people who are converted? Of mensen maar die weer bekeerd zijn? No. Nee. What I see? Wat ik hier zie? There's a lot of people. Zijn heel veel mensen. Who has been forgiven? Die vergeven God. zijn door God. That's what I see. Dat is wat ik hier zie. So, 
And what I'm telling you about people that have been forgiven by the grace of God, we can see it in Ephesians 2. En dan kunnen, dus we kunnen dan zien mensen die vergeven zijn door God in Ephesians 2. In verse 37, I continue. Dus Ephesians 2, verse 37. The, the Bible is telling us that suddenly, Bible vertelt ons, an unexpected visitor came to the house. Dus onverwachte bezoek kwam thuis. And went inside the house. En ze ging naar binnen. So she was in town. Dus ze was in de stad. She heard about that Jesus. Ze hoorde van Jezus. Was with the Pharisee Simon. Ze was in de Pharisee. Dus thuis. And she went over there. Dus ze ging daar naartoe. In vers 37. And she came into the house. En ze kwam thuis binnen. The first question should be. Dus eerst vraag moet zijn. How she went into the house. Hoe zij het huis binnenging. Dus in Lucas 7, vers 37. The tradition in those days. Dus de traditie in die dagen. Was. Was. That when there was a party. Wanneer er feest was. Of when there was a lot of food. Waar voor eten was. People will leave the door open. Dan laat mensen de deur open. They leave the door open. Ze laten de deur open. It's a way of inviting other people. Is een manier om andere mensen uit te nodigen. They come, can come in. Dat ze naar binnen kunnen komen. They can eat also. Dat ze ook kunnen eten. That's why. Dat is daarom. She knew that if she came there. Dan wist als ze daar kwam. The door will be open. Dus de deur zal open zijn. So that she can could meet Jesus. Zodat ze Jezus kon ontmoeten. And that happened too. En dat gebeurde met haar. So. She came in dus ging naar binnen and went directly direct to see Jesus. Bij Jezus zien. What happened there was Wat gebeurde daar? When Jesus saw her, toen Jezus haar zag, Jesus knew Jezus wist immediately that she was a sinner. Dat zij een zondares was. But although she was a sinner, Al, ondanks dat ze een zondares was, Jesus as the friend of sinners, dus Jezus de vriend van zondares, zondares, heeft zijn hart geopend for that woman. voor dat vrouw. Jesus, the friend of the sinners. Jezus de vriend van zondares. Many churches Veel kerk in this year, in dit, dit jaar, are saying, die zeggen, we want to save souls. We willen zielen winnen. We want to convert people. We willen mensen laten bekeren. We pray to God to heal people. We bidden tot God dat mensen genezen worden. We pray for God to save souls. Dat zielen worden gewonnen. We pray for more people to come to our church. We bidden voor meer mensen om naar ons kerk te komen. But the problem, brothers and sisters, the problem, brothers and sisters, is it is that that the doors are closed. That the doors are closed. That's the big problem. The doors are not open. Dus de deur is niet open. Churches have to change. Dus kerk moet veranderen. Churches don't have to be museums anymore. Dus ze moeten museums zijn. But churches have to be hospitals. Dus, dus, moet, dus moet een ziekenhuis zijn. That it should be. They have to be hospitals. Dus moet een ziekenhuis zijn. Where everybody that is there in need. Dus iedereen die in nood is, gewoon geholpen kan worden. Everybody that's hungry, dus iedereen die honger is, can eat. Kan eten. Everybody that's thirsty, dus iedereen die dorstig is, can drink. Kan drinken. Everybody have to know, dus iedereen moet weten, that here in Holy Life Ministry, dat hier in Holy Life Ministry, they won't be, they won't find judges. Dus er wordt, er wordt geen oordelaars. And a jury. Dus rechters. They will find love. Ze zullen liefde vinden. That Dan worden ze accepteerd in God. So they have to know here at Holy Life Ministry. Dus ze moeten hier kennen Holy Life Ministry. Come in. Als je hier binnenkomt. Nobody will judge you. Dus niemand zal je oordelen. Come the way you are. Je komt zoals je bent. And we will accept you. En wij zullen je accepteren. The way you are. Zoals je bent. I remember now. Ik herinner me nu. That God said, dat God zei, come the way you are. Kom zoals je bent. And somebody, en is iemand, some people think, sommige mensen denken, there is something wrong with them. Er is iets fout daarmee. If I'm a sinner, dus als ik een zondag ben, 
If I'm a murderer, God is telling me. Dus God vertelt mij. He loves me. Hij houdt van mij. And he wants me to come. Hij wil dat ik kom. The way I am. Zoals ik ben. So that means dus dat betekent. If I'm a murderer, it's fine. Dus als ik moordenaar ben, is goed. It's like it's nothing wrong. Er is niks fout mee. But it isn't like that. Maar zo is het niet. With that phrase, God meant. Met dat vers bedoelt God. Come the way you are. Dus kom zoals je bent. But He will. Assure you as I love to see that you are when you are leaving, that's why you, you are not going the way you came in. Dus yeah. wanneer je gaat, dat je terug naar wat je was gekomen. This is the right time. Now this is a good time. This is the right time. Now this is a good time. Don't forget to leave the door. Open. Dus begin om de deur open te laten. Please, just tell someone next to you the door is open. Vertel de iemand naast u de deur is open. Dus de deur is open. Oké, okay, to continue back to our text from today. Om terug naar onze tekst van vandaag. The woman, the sinner, de vrouw die zonder is. Enter. Not only to the house, but thuis, Jesus allowed her maar Jezus to come toe, to him. Om na, na hem te komen. Jesus allowed her Jezus om toe, to come to him. Om na, na te komen, na hem all, te komen. Although she was a prostitute, she was a prostitute. Was. Jesus who is the friend of all sinners. Dus Jezus is de vriend van alle zondaars. Lucas telling us in verse 38. Dus Lucas vertelt ons in vers 38. That the woman took possession behind Jesus. Ze nam positie achter Jezus. That's very important. Dat is zo belangrijk. Because the possession she took. Die positie die ze aannam. Was not in front of Jesus. Was niet voor Jezus. Was not at the side. Of aan de zijkant. But it was on his back. Maar achter hem. If we analyze that, dus we dat, dat uh, naar kijken. Somebody that goes behind you, iemand die achter u gaat staan, is a follower. Dus iemand die volgt. Amen. Because when you are a follower, dus wanneer iemand volgt, then you go behind. Dus dan gaat je achter zitten. You go after the one, je gaat achter degene, who is the leader, die de leider is. And the leader is the one, en de leider is degene, who will lead. Die zal leiden. And guide you. Dus die bewaart je. In this case Jesus. Dat, dat Jezus in dit geval. Oké. Okay. In this case Jesus. Dus in dit geval Jezus. He is the one who will guide us to our Father. Zij is degene die ons brengt naar onze Vader. So it's good for all us as Christians. Het is goed voor ons als Christenen. To be always behind. Om altijd achter Jezus te staan. Behind Jesus. Dus achter Jezus. Jesus always told his students. Jesus had always said, "Follow me." Follow me. Follow me. He was the leader. I was the leader. Always follow me. Always follow me. You follow me. Yeah, follow me. He was the leader, and he is the leader. I was the leader, and I I blame the leader. The followers have to the put their trust in the one that's leading. So the followers must put their trust in the one that's leading. The followers volgen, believe that the leader knows the way. Dus geloof dat de leider het weg kent. And he will guide them to the safe port. En hij zal beschermen to naar God de, Almighty. Hij zal leiden naar de juiste poort. Today I want to encourage you. Dus ik wil bemoedigen vandaag. Always, altijd, follow Jesus. Volg yeah. Jezus. Whatever happens. Wat ook gebeurt life. in uw leven. Whatever is going on. Maak naar wat wat gebeurt met uw leven. Just follow Jesus. Gewoon Jezus volgen. That was it for today, but that was for today. Before I finish, before I end, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you that Jesus did for me. That Jesus for me has done. I was not planning to tell this. I was not. I had not planned to tell this. I was sitting there. To like that sat. Something came on my heart. Something came on my heart. If I did this for you, as did for you, people should know. Men should know. Most of the time I can't be emotional. So can I be emotional? Sorry for that. But Sorry for that. Excuse that for. In 2010, 2010, 
Seven years ago, zeven jaar geleden ongeveer, I was alone home. Ik was alleen thuis. I was on my knees. Ik was op mijn knieën. I was praying. Ik was aan het bidden. I was begging. Dus ik smeekte. I was begging Jesus. Ik smeekte Jesus to help me. Om mij te helpen. I was begging Jesus. Ik smeekte tot Jesus that I didn't want to die. Dat ik niet wil sterven. I want Jesus to help me. Ik wil dat Jezus mij helpen en mij genas. I was praying and praying and praying. Ik bad en ik bad en ik bad. Jesus the friend of the sinner. Jezus de vriend van zondaars. Jesus the friend of the sinner. Dus Jezus de vriend van zondaars. I was a sinner. Dus ik was een zondaar. If you ask me now, als je mij nu vraagt, I will say Jesus. Dan zeg ik Jezus. I have all the opportunity to say. Ja, had alle kansen te zeggen. You, jij. I don't want nothing to do with you. Ik wil niks met jou te maken. Don't come to me. Kom naar mij. Go to whatever you want. Ga naar degene die je wilt. I can do nothing. Ik kan niks doen voor jou. But I was praying, my I was bad, praying, my bad, my bad. I was begging, I smaked, was begging, I smaked. And then one day I told Jesus, and then I said to Jesus, 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 if you heal me, as you make a nice, I will make a covenant with you. Is that a bit of a bond with you? If you heal me, as you make a nice, I will give my life. That is my life anew. Amen. Jesus said, yes, said okay, okay, we will see. We will see. <laughs> I will do you. I can do everything. I can do everything. Thank you. And then, and then, there came the time, from the time that I had to go to surgery. Yes, I must go to surgery. 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 Friends, so for friends, and people that I knew, mensen die ik kende, have died. Die zijn gestorven daardoor. From that cancer, from that cancer, from the cancer, the cancer of the nerve. They have died. They are gestorven. So I had to go also to the surgery. Dus ik moest ook gaan voor die operatie. And I didn't know that I will survive. En ik wist dat ik zou overleven. I was praying to Jesus. Ik bad tot Jezus. I want to see my grandson. Ik wil mijn kleine kinderen zien. I want to see my granddaughter. Ik wil mijn kleine kinderen zien. Please help. Alsjeblieft help me. I want to take them to zoo. Ik wil ze naar de zoo. I want to take them to the theater. Dus ik wil dat. Please Jesus. Alsjeblieft Jezus. I am too young to die. Ik ben te jong te sterven. I'm too young. Help me. Ik ben te jong te sterven. Help me. I will change. Verander. Ik zal niet hetzelfde zijn. Jezus, alsjeblieft help mij. En dan ging ik naar de operatie. En alles ging goed. En de kanker was weg. En ik ben hier. En ik ben hier. En ik ben hier. 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 De dokter vertelde mij. Na vijf jaar. Dan kan ik zeggen voor zeker. Dat je genezen bent. Dat was 2010. Dus so elk jaar. I went to check. Dus ging om te controleren, checken. No cancer cells. 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 And after five years. Dus na vijf jaar. The doctor told me you don't have to come anymore. Don't say you don't need to come. Amen. Praise the Lord. You don't need to come. Then I started to think. So I started to think. Jesus did his part. Jesus has done his part. I have to keep my word now. I keep my word. I keep my word fast now. And I started little bit by little. Little bit by little. I started to look for God. To look for God. To look for God. I told him, Jesus. I said, Jesus. I promise. I believe you. I will do it. I will do it. Let's do it slowly. 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 Ja, dus hij heeft bij jou zo snel gedaan. So I started to study with the Jehovah witnesses, all the other churches, all the mensen, all the kerken. And after exactly six years, so in 2016, from 2010 to 2016, I gave my life to Jesus. And after one year, na een jaar, after seven years, na na zeven jaar, the number of God, the number of God, I have been ordained as the president. Amen, amen. So it took seven years, it took nine zeven jaar, my healing, 
Dus voor mijn genezing. And also for, for the healing of my soul. Dus voor de genezing van mijn ziel. And to be an evangelist. 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 Dank u wel. Dank u wel. Dank u wel. Dank u Ik wil iets zeggen um, voor Jerry. Ik heb het aan mijn dochter Mercy verteld. En ik wou eigenlijk aan de pastor vertellen. Want uh, ja, ik vraag mezelf wie ben ik? Do afgelopen donderdag um, had ik uh, iets gekregen. Dus ik was alleen in mijn badkamer, dus ik zich schoonmaken. En ik krijg iets en zo dat ik moet tegen Jerry zeggen dat. Uh, je moet um, de, laat ik zeggen, de teksten van Job leren. Waarom weet ik het ook niet? Ik heb dat gekregen. Dus dan bel ik met ze van mensen, dit en dit en dat heb ik gekregen. Maar ja, je durft het soms niet te gaan zeggen. Van, want ik zeg, wie ben ik? Om Jerry moet te gaan zeggen... Wat laten zeggen wat ik moet doen als Jerry mij gelooft of niet. Ja. Maar nu zeg ik het voor u Amen. als pastor, vader van dit huis. Amen. En ja, dat heb ik gewoon zo gekregen van Jerry moet Job de hele vers. Het is wel lang, ja. maar je moet de hele vers van Job leren. Amen. En kijk wat je eruit haalt en kijk wat je mee moet doen. Halleluja. Dus hij was zeker dus je God is een kort samenvatting. Je God naast Thomas Dick, dus de Lombarding. Je telt Brother Jerry, dus een evangelist Jerry, to read the book of John. Dus dat is het. Dat is de woord. Je hoort dat. Je hebt gehoord. John is een heel peculiar Bijbel. Een boek van de Bijbel. Het is een diep handel, het is een boek van de Bijbel. Ik zal een tijd vinden waarin we starten, ik weet niet. Study just like we study Revelation, study Matthew. We gaan dat dus studeren, zeg maar zoals we bij Matthäus hebben gedaan in Openbaring. You will get to understand very well about Job. Je moet goed begrijpen over Job. Job, in a sense, is not really what many of us think. Het is wat veel van ons denken. I think that book was written even before the time of Abraham. Het was eigenlijk geschreven voor de tijd van Abraham. Job was not really where it should be. It should have been even before even Genesis. Dus Job moest eigenlijk moest voor de Genesis zijn. Because Job was at a time when there was no pastor. Er was geen pastor in die tijd. When there was no uh, 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 law. Dus er was geen wet. When there was nothing like temple. Dus er was geen tempel daar. This was a man who gave himself without anybody telling him there is God. Dus he knew there was be someone who is God. Dus hij heeft zichzelf overgegeven zonder dat iemand dat vertelde er is een God. And God needed to boast over him. And God must trust over him. When we think about Job, the first thing that comes to our mind, the suffering of Job, or the lie that he lied, the difficulty of Job, the moeilijkheden van Job. Can I stand there? That is not what Job is all about. That can't it be Job? For instance, Job says, Job says, I have been made a covenant with my eyes. Dus ik heb verbond gemaakt met mijn ogen. Why should I look at the man? Want zeg ik dan kijk naar mijn vrouw. I was reading that place. Ik las de Bijbel thuis. Three days ago. Drie dagen geleden. Even this morning. Zelfs deze morgen. Around three o'clock. Dus al rond drie uur. Came to my mind. Kom in mijn gedachten. He said, he said, I have made covenant with my eyes. Ik heb verbond gemaakt met gesloten met mijn ogen. That is in Job chapter thirty-one verse one. Dus Job een en dertig vers één. He said, why should I look at the man? Zelfs gewoon kijken naar vrouw. What is that saying? Wat zegt hij dan? Nobody told him. Dus niemand heeft hem verteld. How to consecrate himself? Hoe hij zichzelf moet heiligen. 
Nobody told him. Niemand heeft verteld. How is your work perfect? Hoe is het perfect met loop met God? What is he saying? Wat zegt hij? He said no woman will bring me down. Dus geen enkele vrouw brengt me naar beneden. No luku luku will bring me down. Geen luku luku brengt me naar beneden. No pornography will bring me. Geen pornografie brengt me naar beneden. No touchy touchy will bring me. Geen aanraking brengt me naar beneden. Job says. Job zegt. Listen to me people. Luister naar mij mensen. You people are in the time of technology. Jullie zijn in de tijd van technologie. I don't have technology. Ik heb geen technologie. I don't watch movie. Ik kijk geen film. You have television. Je hebt tv. I make commandant even before there was television. Ik heb verbond gemaakt voordat tv was. I don't watch pornography. Ik kijk naar pornografie. I make commandant with my eyes. Ik heb verbond gesloten mijn ogen. Before there's Ah, 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 pornography. Is that you people have these pants? Dus je hebt die ondergoed. For women to swim. For vrouwen om te zwemmen. And they will be at the sea. Dat betekent aan het strand. In Curaçao. In Curaçao. Lake Awan. Lake Awan. And everywhere is. Dus overal is bloot. Figure eight. Dus op figure acht. Look says. Look says. If I come to that place. Jongen, als ik op die plaats kom. I'm not coming out with my eyes. Mijn ogen heb ik verbonden gesloten. Why should I look at the man? Waarom moet ik naar een vrouw kijken? He say. I say all the people looking at the children. You look at my children. See the pies or whatever they call it. Pay the bill. You know, for me, for my, no TV, TV. I say no TV, TV. No keke keke. No keke keke keke. No watch watch. No keke keke. No look look look. I say I have made commandment. I say I have made commandment with my eyes. Many people don't know. Many people don't know. At the time he told people who are counseling him. They have answered for him. He said you are counseling me. I say you are my God. You are counseling me. You are my God. Do you know? Do you know that the world? That the world. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He said, "Do you know?" And I bet you. Listen, all the tech, all the evolutionists, just all that evolution, all the scientists, just all the wisdom. It was the book of Job. It was the book of Job that revealed that the world is like a globe. The world is like a ball. That the world is round. 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 And that's Job. That wrote it. And that was David. In the book of Job. In the book of Job. Job says. Job says. I will decree a thing. It shall be established. And it shall be established. And it shall be given to you. And the light of God. And the light of God will follow me. It shall be followed. It was in Job. It was in Job. You don't understand. You forget this. The first thing we read about Job. It's not the list of Job. I don't want to be like him. God doesn't want to look at somebody who wants to receive now. God can't even imagine what he will say. Because Jesus said, "I am the one that healed you." But Jesus said, "Even you can never." Why was he going to cross and want you to be healed? Because the cross is. Listen, listen. The job case was a different case. In fact, Job was honest, and I have never seen it happen in the Bible again. This is not even happened in the Bible. David was never sick to prove that God is. David was not sick to prove that God is. Daniel was never sick to prove that God is. Daniel was not sick. Dus we kijken over de ziekte van Job. Maar God zei: I am Jehovah Rapha. God zei: Ik ben Jehovah Rapha. I'm the one that heals. Ik ben de God die geneest. Go and study Job. Ga studeer je boek van Job. Job was the first person to talk about Paimon. Dus hij sprak over Paimon. He's one first person who says something about Leviathan. Hij zei iets over Leviathan. Go and study Job. Ga studeer Job. When you went, she said that. Maar mijn ziekte zei dat zij. Oh, you say oh yeah. Oh, say oh yeah. Pastor, Evangelist Jerry is going to be sick. Evangelist Jerry won't be sick. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Jesus didn't go to the cross two thousand years ago for him to say, say that. Okay, but nowadays Jesus doesn't joke with his church. He doesn't make any grammar with his church. He doesn't joke with his church. He doesn't make any grammar with his church. Your body for Jesus. Your life is to be the ancient of days. As the old of old. When the devil shoot you arrow, when the devil the arrow, Jesus will appear. Yes, for sure. And the arrow will go to Jesus. And the fire will go to Jesus. Praise the Lord. He carries our all the arrows. Jesus, 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 we protect us. I don't deserve it. My sickness and infirmity. My sickness. I'm not gonna die of cancer. My sickness. I'm not gonna die of diabetes. My diabetes. I'm not gonna die of sickness. My sickness. Because I have the strength of God. Jesus, Jesus, He's my healer. He's my deliverer. He will stay for me. He will cover me. He will protect me. He will protect you. He will protect you. No more joke. No more sickness. No more joke. No more sufferings of joke. No more sufferings of joke. No more sufferings of joke. Don't lie to me. For the church of Jesus. Don't lie to me. Don't say to yourself. I'm saying to myself. I am not going to show. I am not going for the profession. I am going for the profession of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The power of Jesus. The power of Jesus. The spirit of Jesus. The spirit of Jesus. The spirit of Jesus. The spirit of Jesus. I'm not going for the patience. I'm not going for the joy. I'm going to win souls. 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 Many of you have met Covenant before. Men hebben hem verbonden gesloten. Many of you have met Covenant before. Men hebben hem verbonden gesloten. Maar je hebt verbonden dat Covenant. Maar je hebt verbonden. Je hebt verbonden dat Covenant. Je hebt verbonden. Tell Jesus. Zeg tegen Jezus. What I have promised you. Wat ik heb beloofd. I'm sorry I've not done it. Sorry dat ik het niet heb gedaan. Let me remind you now. Laat hem 
je herinneren. Let me remind you now. Laat je je herinneren. What you have said. Wat je hebt gezegd. So I go with you. So that God is a help. Hallelujah. 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 God is. God is telling you. God will tell you. This is what I've done for you. This is what I've done for you. This is what I've done for you. Sister Caroline. Sister Caroline. You're not paying attention. Je steekt een ander. God just told me. Je zegt mij te doen. You promise him that you're gonna serve him. Je hebt beloofd dat je zal doen. Maar je hebt beloofd dat je zal doen. You promise me you're gonna sing for him. Je hebt beloofd dat je zal zingen. Is that you're one of the people? Who promised me I'm not doing anything? I'm not doing anything. 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 I'm not doing
Jesus tells me, you're not ready. You're living double life. Right, okay. Very nice preaching we have today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, to bow is very important. Who you are for us is that. Help us to be able to fulfill it. Help my sister to do evangelism. Help my sister to win souls. In the name of Jesus. Somebody who prays with us is chapter 5. Let's pray the ghost with five. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, let her in the name of Jesus be freed. Give her the provision. Give her the building. Let her keep her promise. Nobody jokes with you. You are ancient of this. Let her promise and let her fulfill it. In the name of Jesus. Read from me. Give her a microphone. People, pay attention. We are going to read it in Dutch. We are going to read it in English. Pay attention. It is us chapter 5. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of food. Hold on. Take 
Pay attention. Because that chapter came while I was standing there. He said, keep their foot. He said, not move around. When you come into the church, you should be focused. It's not the time just to keep loitering, talking. It is not the time to stay and talk. Verse 2, go ahead. Verse 2. For they consider not that they do evil. Okay, start from uh, verse 1. Verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. That is instruction. Mm -hmm. And be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear. Than to give the sacrifice of fools. To give the sacrifice of fools. You for hear and know what is sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. Be not rash with their, thy mouth. Did you hear that? Be not rash. Sister, Sister Christine and Sister Rosette, tell them that I want you to. This is very serious for me. He said, don't be too much in a hurry. We need to smell with the mood. I want you to pay attention, all of you, that I will go. If this happened to me, if that happened to me, do this for me. Do that. Don't joke with God. Maak geen grapjes met God. He said, shit of days. Hij is de oude van de dag. God is telling, be careful. God is, God zegt hier, wees Don't give zieken. the sacrifice of a fool. Geef niet de, de, de offer van een uh, dwaas. It is better when you come to the church. Het is beter als je naar de kerk komt. Listen. Luister. Dan to say what you talk with your mouth. Dan wat je zegt met je mond. He says, God heal me, God heal me, God heal me. Hij zei tegen God, God te genezen. And God heal me instantaneously. And God heeft dat direct gedaan. And when is it time to, for him to fulfill? En wanneer de tijd daarvoor is om het, dat zij ook zijn deel. He was saying, God, let's take it step by step. Toen zei tegen God, oké, okay, God, laten we het stap voor stap doen. What if God has taken your healing step by step? Wat als God jouw genezen stap voor stap had genomen? You may not by now be eating from your nose. Misschien zou je nu door je neus zijn gaan eten. Let's hear again. Laten we het weer eens Somebody said, when I get my house. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to, like our sister here, God, he said, I'm going to sing for God, I'm sing for God, but you are just not there. Yes, go ahead. Yes. And let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. Look at it, he said, huh, read Dutch for me. Wees niet te snel met uw mond en laat uw hart zich niet haasten. Een woord te uiten voor het aangezicht van God. Do you hear that? Hebt u dat gehoord? For God is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Do you hear that? When God is in the heaven, let you bend up the earth. Let your word be few. Let darum your word be few. In aantal zijn. Go ahead. Yes. That's true. For a dream coming through the multitude of business. All right. Where I wanted you to see in that place. Where what you will that you see? It's for you to know that you don't say anything without you. First of all, making sure what you promised God that you must do it. That you need so much to say, without that you know what you have promised. That's four. Mm -hmm. When thou vows a vow unto God, defer not to pay it. You see, hear that. Wanneer u aan God een gelofte doet, snel dan niet uit die na te komen. Are you hearing that? Hoort u dat? People. Mensen. Read them again. Read it again. Listen When thou vows the vow unto God, defer not to pay it. Hmm. Wanneer u aan God een gelofte doet, stel dan niet uit die na te komen. Go ahead. For he had no pleasure in fools. Do you hear that? Don't allow God to call you fool. Want hij heeft geen geval, wel gevallen aan dwazen. God die noemt je gewoon een dwaas dan. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Kom na wat u belooft. Do you hear that? Hoort u dat? That which you have vowed. Kom na wat u belooft. You need to pay your vow. U moet uw belofte nakomen. Don't say God, this child, if I have it, I'll give you. And now you are not giving that child back to God. Zeg u tegen God, oh, als ik dit kind krijg, dan geef ik het aan u, en dan daarna doe je het niet. Please. Go ahead. Yes. Better is it that thou shouldest not vow. That, that thou shouldest vow and not pay. You see, he said, God said, I'm not interested. If you don't want to vow, don't vow. Say it. God is saying, he said, it is better that you not believe than that you believe but not nakomt. Do you hear that? Hoort u dat? Please. As you believe. When you go home, go and read Job 22, which we are talking about. As you go home, go and read Job 22, lezen. If you're going to read from verse 21. Als je gaat lezen vanaf vers 31. Let me read it for you quickly. Then we close. 
and quit now thyself with him. Be at peace thereby. Good shall come unto thee. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his word in thy heart. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacle. Then shall thou lay up gold as dust, and gold as offering, as the stones of the brook. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. For then shall thou have thy delight in the Almighty. And shall lift up thy face unto God. Thou shalt make thy prayers unto him. And he shall hear thee. And thou shalt pay thy vows. Wow. Hey. Have you seen that in chapter 22? Verse 27. Yes. If you read verse 25. He said, yeah, the Lord shall be thy defense. He said, God is going to, the, he's going to protect you. God is going to protect you. I'm talking about verse uh, 25. Ik praat hier over vers 25. And thou shalt have plenty of silver. He said you are going to have plenty of money. Yeah. I don't hear you say amen. Dan zal je al makkelijk Because he said zijn. you will have plenty of silver. Je zal schatten aan zilver krijgen. What is plenty of silver? Wat is schatten aan zilver? He's talking about euro of today. Hij praat over de euro van vandaag. Say I receive it. I receive it. it. You know I was telling you about the book of Job. Ik vertel u over het boek van Job. All we see is about suffering. You see this one is talking about promises and promises yeah. and promises. Dit is dit praat in de hele tijd over belofte. Look at verse 26. Kijk naar vers 26. For then shall thou have thy delight in the Almighty. Yes. Dan zult u je vreugde hebben in de Almachtige. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will have your delight. Je zal je vreugde scheppen. When God will bless you. Wanneer God je zal zegenen. You will have your delight. Je zal je, je, je zal je when God will give you breakthrough, when they yeah. you the door you will have your delight. Then shall you break the fall. When God will heal you, yeah. you will have your delight. Then shall you break the fall. When you have a new job, yeah. you will have your delight. Then shall you break the fall. When you have your husband, when yeah. your man has, which you have been praying for, yeah. then you will rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When, you your wife, yeah. when you have your wife, when you have your wife, which you have been looking for, yeah. then you will praise God. Yeah. Yeah. When your children are doing good, yeah. when they are doing good, when they are doing good, at home, when they are protected, when they are healed, the Bible says, and ye shall have delight in the Lord, and this shall lift up thy face unto God. Many of you are walking like this now. But look, the Bible here says, you will look up. And you will smile. And I will smile. Say that whether you like it or not. I will smile. I will smile. I will not cry. No, 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 no. I will not cry. No. Because I am going to be happy. I receive. I receive. I receive. This blessing that God gave to me. Listen to me, people. I didn't prepare this message. Ik heb deze niet voorbereid. I got information right here. Ik had geen hier die informatie. That's why she read Ecclesiastes. Daarom heeft zij je prediker. And we are reading here now. En wij lezen het nu hier. Many of you, you will look up. Vele van jullie die kijken op. And you will be delighted in the Lord. En je zal ook de volk zijn in de Heer. Look at verse 27. Kijk naar vers 27. And thou shalt make thy prayer unto Him. Yes. You will pray to God. Amen. That's what the Bible is saying. And he says, and he shall hear thee. Hallelujah. Yeah. Who have been crying unto God? Who have been crying unto God? Oh God, give me a husband. Oh God, change my husband. Oh God, change my son. Oh God, give me a husband. Oh God, change my daughter. Oh God, answer my prayer. I need to buy a house. I need to be a man of God. I need to have power to buy and to lose. John tells us this morning. Do the Holy Spirit. He says in this place. And he, he said, Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him. And he shall hear thee. And thou shalt pay thy vows. Did you hear that, Sister Evelyn? Sister Evelyn. You said, God. I told you when I get this, I get this, I will give you. Money. Ik heb u verteld, als ik dit krijg en dit krijg, dan geef ik u geld. And now you have no money. En nu heb ik geen geld. But God says, Wanneer God zegt, you will pile up silver. 
zal uh, schatten uh, bij elkaar gaan. En nu zal je de belofte betalen. Wie heeft uh, een, een gelofte gemaakt met God? Hij, zou, hij zei, je zou dat betalen. Listen to me, but I tell you, somebody who vows, if something becomes too much, he vows. Als er iets uh, te veel wordt voor hem, dan gaat hij die gelofte maken. And when he vows, say God, if you do it for me, I will do this. En hij zegt, uh, wanneer je als, als je iets doet voor mij, dan ga je het doen. It was bought because of his vow. Deze was gekocht vanwege zijn geloofde. Veel van die zijn nog gekocht. Sommige van die instrumenten zijn gekocht vanwege zijn geloofde. Als je niet vow to God, if you vow to God, there is power in vow. Er is kracht 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 in vow. En God, als u mij die overwinning geeft. The first thing that comes before when I come home, the first thing my eyes set on. De eerste wat ik thuis kom, als wat ik zie. I will sacrifice it to you. Dan zal ik die opofferen. And he went and he 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 destroyed the 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 enemies of the children of Israel. En hij heeft de kinderen van Israël heeft hij verwoest. I think it was the Midianites. Ik denk dat het de Midianiten waren. He fought and fought and God gave him victory. Hij is heeft gevochten en gevochten en gevochten en heeft overwonnen. And as he was coming back and singing. The joy of victory. And I come to realize that some singer, the liedje van overwinning. The first person that came out was the Dora. The only single Dora. No boy, no man, no woman. The first one was a daughter. And they all knew me. Oh, daddy. And say, oh, father. This man said, oh, God. He said, oh. All the joy. All the freedom. All the happiness. All the freedom. That he has gotten, and now he became. That he had, he was totally different. He said, I'm going to sacrifice anything my eyes set. So don't. Because with your great mouth, with God. You must out look with your great mouth. Just say the things you can handle. Say the things that you can handle. But it was not easy for him. But it was not easy for him. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. He said you are one of the people that trouble me. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. Look at the door. I said you are one of the people that trouble me. En de dochter zei: Als je dat hebt gedaan voor God, doe alles wat je moet doen. Met mij. Kunt u tot die niveau komen? De Lord wil voorspoedig maken. De Heer zal u voorspoedig maken. Sommige van jullie kunnen zeggen: Sommige van jullie kunnen zeggen: God, geef me betrouw van nu en nu. Geef me doorbraak voor nu en nu. Ik ga u geven vijf dagen. Ik ga u 5000 euro geven. Wanneer je dat zegt, God zal je 15000 geven, zodat je je 5000 betaalt. Ik geef je gewoon een voorbeeld. Maar veel van u weten niet wanneer God praat. Ik weet 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 niet wanneer God praat. They can never. You see, if you say God, I will give you two euro, that's not a problem. I just think God said He gave you three euro. That is him alone. When you look at your account, you say God, I will give you five thousand. As you now your reckoning, you say God, I give you five thousand. That means it is something that is impossible. That is that means that it is unbelievable. That you and God tell. And look at what God says. And look at what God says. Look at look at what God says. Let me tell you how God talks. Look, let me tell you how God talks. In verse twenty-four, He says. Thou shalt, he said, then shall that lay up gold as dust. He said, you are going to have gold as what? Dust, really. Gaat goud krijgen als als stof. Do you hear that? Hoort u dat? And the gold of fire as the stones of the brook. En het goud van ophir bij de rots van de beken. And look at what God says. En kijk wat God zegt. In verse 27. In verse 27. And thou shalt be thy vow. Who made who made the gold to be there? Who provided the gold? God and dust. Listen, when you you know what is dust? Weet je wat stof is? This is dust. So as is dust, so stuff. When you are gathering them, you know what we clean here with two like this. When they are at school, make them and then. God says instead of you cleaning dust. In plaats van je dat je die die stof gaat vegen, dan ben je eigenlijk goud bij elkaar aan het gaan. Hij zei, I will do it. Ik zei, hij zei, ik ga doen. You will do what? En u gaat wat doen? Pay your vow. U zal uw gelofte nakomen. Who wants to be rich person in this house? Wie wil rijk zijn in dit huis? May the Lord make you to understand that God can provide. 
can provide for you. Amen. And you will not have time to say, I'm going to pay my vow. Amen. God is not wicked. God it's is not wicked. At the time you said, you promised me. And you didn't give me. No, no, no. God is not a slack. He said, you have me, you have me said, you have me believed. He will be happy when you come to him and say, Daddy, look at this. He is very glad as you come to him and say, Father, look at this. And he will do it for you too. For you to do it for him. And he will do it for you too, so that you for him. He doesn't want your gold. He doesn't want your gold. He doesn't want your euro. He doesn't want your euro. He doesn't want your euro. But for the fact that you say, God, can I tell you? God said, nothing shocks me. He said, God, I will give you five thousand. And then he said, oh. You are walking on the wall. Remember what we talk about, mm -hmm. little faith. Those of you who are talking about little faith, over a clean cloth. Immediately, the devil will tell you, look at your abdomen. The devil will say directly, look at your abdomen. And when you look at behind, you have me thousand. That should never to get. Don't worry. That little faith will take you out from your boat and on the wall. Clean cloth. And when you are about to sing, Jesus will say. I catch you. And when you are you Jesus and we walk back in the boat with you. Yeah. And everyone shall be still. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Receive your breakthrough. Yeah. Receive your breakthrough. Yeah. Receive your breakthrough. Yeah. I'm telling you before August, you will share testimony. Yeah. You will share testimony. Yeah. Listen, testimony of finances now. The testimony is from finances now. Testimony of healing will come. Testimony of healing and holiness. God tells me. Testimony of finances. I don't speak finances. But God says, finances are gone. Finances is coming. Finances is coming. Thank you for bringing that, that word of joy. Thank you well on the word for That's from we are not everybody now. We got to say, I promise God, I didn't do this. I promise God. And God said, okay, now those who promise me. The king that my beloved has. Tell them to be careful what they tell me. Zeg tegen hen om voorzichtig te zijn wat ze vertellen tegen mij. Maar ik zal iets doen voor hen. En nu zullen ze hun gelofte nakomen. U zal uw gelofte nakomen. U zal uw doorbraak hebben. Uw financiën die zullen beter worden. U zal niet meer missen. U zal omhoog gaan. Dat zegt de Heer. God zegen u. Zie je. On Sunday, by the grace of God.